Hello everyone, welcome to Debit Credit Nation. This is Shobhadro and today we are going to talk about account balance display in FICO versus account balance display in FICA. So to start with, I'm going to show you the account balance display in FICO first. Now what is account balance display? Account balance display means for a customer, whatever transactions have taken place throughout the day, throughout the year, we show all those transactions in account balance display. It's like an account statement in SAP. So we'll start with account balance display in FICO. So for that, the T code we need to use is FBL5N. For customer, it is FBL5N. For vendor, it is FBL1N. So today we are going to talk about customers only. So I'm going to execute FBL5N. Let me open my customer here. This is my customer. I'll click on all item and I'll enter the end of this month. So today is 27.6. I'm going to enter 36.2020. And uh, just going to hit execute. So see, this is the account balance display in FICO side. What are the fields available here? We have this assignment field, document number, document type, document date. Then we have the status. We'll talk about this one shortly. Then local currency amount, then currency, clearing document and text. So what is this symbol? This symbol, the red symbol signifies that these items are due. That means the customer still need to pay $200 to us. And what is this green signal? That means the customer has already paid this amount. So customer owed us 10,200 and they have made the payments. But these payments are due from the customer. Now we see a couple of these symbols over here. So the first one says due. So I need to add the due date over here. So click on this change layout button and look for net due date. So net due date, let me bring in the net due date field over here copy so the first one that means which is due the net due date is today's date that's why it is due the customer hasn't made the payment yet but if i go for the second line item which is of 80 dollar you see it says not due that means its due date is 36 so today is 27 6 so the due date is in future that's why it is showing these details that is it is not yet due so the customer will make the payment on or before 30 if they don't make the payment on or before 30 that means it will become like this due. So what are the feature we have in FBL 5N uh, screen as well? So we can see that we can, so suppose this text field, this text field is consuming a lot of data. Let me remove this text field. So I can click on this change layout and I can, I can look for this text field and I click on this button. That means now the text field will be hidden. So it is more compact. Now this is the account balance display on the FICO screen. So there is not much configuration left. Whatever thing we want to do, we can play with this screen. We can click on this button and we can, you know, this is the hidden fields and these are the displayed fields. So we can uh, toggle between the hidden fields and the displayed field. So we can do the changes right away. Now, let me take you to the account balance display in the FICA side. So to see the account balance display in FICA side, we need to open the T code called FPL9. So I'm going to enter the T code FPL9 over here and I'll enter my business partner over here. Okay. Now I'll click on all items and I'll click on one of the variants, say this variant I created. So this one, then I hit enter. So the same screen, let me reduce the number of hits because so in the FICA side, there is a concept of contract account under a business partner. We have a contract account. So each business partner can have multiple contract account. What are contract account? Suppose I'm a customer. I have two separate connection. I have gas connection. I and I have water connection for gas connection. I want to make the payment within 14 days since the bill is due or the bill was generated. But for uh, the other connection, I want to make the payment in 30 days. So there are two separate contracts between gas connection and electricity connection. That's why you can have multiple contract account under FICA. So let me choose one of the contract accounts. So suppose this one is the contract account and I hit enter. So I see under this contract account, I have done these many transactions. Okay. I haven't shown you one thing. So back to FICO. If I go back, I have these three options over here. So if I click on open item and I enter till the last of the this month and if I execute I see only open items only red items are being shown okay now if I can I can come back and I can click on this cleared item and I can enter the same 
and here I'll see only the green items that is the receivables which are already paid over here and similarly if I see if I want to see all the items I can click on here that is that is a display that I first showed you in the FICO side similar to that in the FICA side also there is also this functionality so I am coming I have come back to FP9 screen so if I click on all item and if I execute I can see all the transaction over here now if I go back and I click on all open items that means whatever items are unpaid that is these are the two items which are not yet paid that's why only the open items are being shown over here now by default in FICA there is no such functionality to show only the cleared item we have to do further filtration now see there are two separate colors one is red and the other one is yellow the red one says receivable open and due so if I click on the due date see the due date is today's date that means this item is due sorry the due date is yesterday's date that is 27th 26th so this item is overdue that is the due date has passed but yet the customer hasn't made the payment but for the second line it's a, it's a yellow it says receivable open not due yet the due date is in future which is 29th that is two days from now that's why it is being shown as yellow now the problem is suppose I have this many field in FICA I want to add one more field suppose I don't see a text field if I double click on any line item then I can see the text field but in the display without getting inside of any document I cannot see the text field but in FICA the problem is I cannot add any particular field see I don't have that button similar to FICO I had this button called change layout so from here I can add or remove so many fields but in FICA the problem is see I don't have this screen so if I want to add any other screen what do I need to do I need to configure it in FICO we can straight away change the field in FBL 5N screen itself but here we need to configure it so let me today I'm going to show you the configuration of account balance display in FICA so for that go to SPRO click on SAP reference IMG then click on financial accounting new contract account receivable payable um, basic functions and we have this account balance display expand it second item says define line layout variant for account balance so click on it see we have this many line layout created the same line layout you can see if I go back to my FPL line screen and if I, if I click on this drop down you see one two three four five so these five items appear over here now suppose I want to create a fresh new item suppose let me see let me show you one of the items say this one see this one has nothing it has only the I don't know what is what is this view urge it has nothing I mean it is very bad so what I can do suppose I want to create a fresh line layout so click on new entry and suppose line layout I want to make as debit credit nation which is DCN so line layout sorry debit credit nation line layout okay this is the name click on enter and just click on save then click on the variant fields so here I want to add the fields okay let's copy it from FICO whatever fields I had in FICO site I am going to replicate all those fields in FICA so first is the status field so click on new entry and suppose I'll make it uh, say uh, say 0 1 the first is a status status is called I think it is AMPL so status is traffic light so this is a first screen first field which I had in FICO site next in FICO I had this assignment but in FICA assignment doesn't work so I'm going to skip this field next is document number so number two so either you can either you can search it from here so click on this binocular and search with document number which is this one or okay what is the next field next field is document type or you can do if you know the technical name of it you can straight away write it so I know the technical name of document type is BLART so I'm going to uh, search for BLART right away so BLART enter so here we go the document type now again sorry next field I want to add is document date so 04 document date is I think 
bl dot or bu dot let me confirm bu dat i think this is the documented now this is posting that so bl dot is a documented so bl dat so you can search with both the field name or medium field level okay so documented here next field is number 5 is the so this this further symbol we don't have in fica we have either uh, we have three signals over here traffic light red yellow green green means fully paid red means which is not yet paid and which is also overdue that is due date has gone by and the yellow means which are not yet due which are in future the due date is in future so we don't have this further subdivision in fico we have within red we have this further subdivision that is something is due and something is not due but in fica we have if it is in due it will be a red traffic light if it is not yet due it will be a yellow traffic light so next is amount so number 5 i am going to add amount so i know amount is b e t r w so b e t yeah this is the amount field next 06 uh this is a currency so currency is w this is the currency field next 07 Mm, we have clearing document. Clearing document. I think A U G B L. This is the clearing document. Then enter zero zero eight. Zero eight is text. I am not going to show text over here. Okay, so I am going to skip text. What else can I add? Uh, okay, I need to add business partner and contact account. So okay, number eight. I need to add contact account. So V K O N T. Okay, and finally 09 i can add business partner which is g p a r t now since i know the technical names that's why i am able to enter it if you don't know just click on this f4 button then just click on this binocular and look for the particular field i want to add one more field in my view uh, what that field can be let me see which one is missing due date i don't have the due date yet okay i don't have the due date so last field i'm going to add the due date so which is f a e d n and once i have entered all the field i'm going to click on enter you see the description and that field length everything will be populated okay now what you need to do the last step just save this now go back to variant so see whatever fields you have added all those appears over here previously it was blank now all those fields appear over here so you just need to add the light add, add the description over here so the first one just on top of a i'm going to add status okay next space so it is a 50 character field that's why it is it has taken so so much of space next on top of b which is document number so doc no space 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 c column we have uh, this is a two character field so i am going to make it dt which is doc type then on top of d we have doc date so doc date let me make it dt doc date next number e column which is number e is amount amount then space 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 come here so amount has a long field next on top of f f stands for currency so c u r r okay space space g g is clearing doc so c l r n g d o c clearing doc space 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 h h is contact account so cont a c space 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 i i is business partner so i can add b p only then j j is due date so due dt now my account balance display is ready i am going to click on save okay one more thing i have missed let me quickly add it in the variants so i'll i'll go to the variant fields once again i missed couple of fields so in fica there are very two important uh, fields which are required which is main transaction and sub transaction i'm going to talk about the main transaction and sub transaction in my subsequent videos so the main transaction is known as h v o r g and the sub transaction is called t v o r g t v o r r g enter so which are a four character each i am going to save it and going back to variants i'll see a couple of more fields added no not it added 
hang on. Okay, now I have the main and sub transition over here, May probably some refresh issue. So, MT and space here ST. Okay, now I am going to save it. So, all the fields has been added. The last two fields, main and sub transition are added. Now, I am coming back, back. Now, I am going back to FPL9 once again. So, I am executing FPL9. So on the drop down I see debit credit nation this field has been added this line layout has been added I click on it and I click on enter now I see the new line layout has been added over here okay now if I want to see with the all item view I can click on the all items so all items are now shown and I can also use this functionality of ALV grid this is very important if you click on this ALV grid you will see a better view see you will see all the fields so you can click and and the other thing also you can put a you know summation so here you can do you can at least you know uh, uh, change the uh, like this traffic light has so many is a 50 character field but I can reduce it and I can increase it as well so the amount I can also increase and reduce all those things so I can select a line item I can do control Y and I can copy it okay so I think most of the uh, consultant use this ALV grid for business as well ALV grid is very important now before I wind up I just want to give you a quick details about what is this what is the difference between this business partner I mean, I mean this customer and the FI customer so both of them are customer if I double click on it so both of them it will take me to the same screen which is called business partner so this is business partner in FICA site sorry in FICO site now for the FICA one if I double click on it it will take me the same screen see there is no difference so the T code is BP both of them the T code is business partner now the difference is if you see on the FICA side I have this role called contract partner okay but in the FICO side I have this role called okay I have used a Z role so my role is FLCU00 the, the standard role is called FLCU00 whenever you create a customer with this role FI customer or a business partner with this role FI customer or FLCU00 that is used in FICO but if you create a customer and extend this role called contract partner MKK contract partner that is used in the FICA side now that was the difference from SAP side but what is the difference in the business side so the difference is this customer this Shobhadra Talapatra this customer is a regular customer of a client for example suppose the client is you know uh, distributing internet okay so every month Shobhadra consumes an amount of internet and based on that uh, this client sends them a postpaid bill so whatever customer are available in the FICA side so this customer will be consuming something every month there will be periodic bill against which there will be periodic payments against next month another bill another payment if there is some dispute a bill can be cancelled and it will be rebuilt a check is bounced or a payment is dishonored the payment will be reversed okay so this type of transaction happened in the FICA side that is regular billing and regular payments regular collection activity all those are happening in the FICA side but if I go to the FICO side now this is my business partner test customer so what kind of customer is this so this is not a regular consumer suppose this is a customer suppose from this internet providing company I am buying a Wi-Fi or I am buying a router which is a one-time purchase from this company's point of view the customer walks into their uh, store and the customer buys something and they have to make the payment so not every month they are going to they are not going to repeat their purchases so that is the difference between FICA customer and FICO customer for FICA customers the purchase the transactions are going to be repeated every month there will be consumption every month there will be payment but on the FICO side there is no such difference the payment can happen one time two time three time but there is no periodicity like on 10th of this month the purchase happened I mean we sold something to this customer again on the same date of next month I am going to sell something that is that is not going to happen in FICO site so the purchase or the sale can be irregular I am going to wind up this video right here if you like this video do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you so much